Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to show you a really fun tool that's found under the extra category in the toolbox of 90 Second Website Builder. It's called Rollover Text. And you may have missed this great feature because it's called Rollover Text. It actually is about working with a text and an image. Let me show you what it does. I'm going to select the tool from the toolbox and just drag a box onto the canvas. The first thing I need to do is find an image that I want my text to roll over or to appear when I roll over the image. So I'm going to use a Beetle album here, and that'll be my image. Next, I'm going to design the text that appears when I hover or roll over this image. So I double click on the image, and here's where I can edit my text. First, I can make a title. Next, I can put a description in here pretty much as long as I want. Now I've already pre-written one, so I'll just copy and paste it in here. And then at the bottom of the text, I can have what's called link text. that can link this information to another web page or an outside website. So let's do that. Let's change it a little bit here to say, okay, there's my link text. Now I need to create a link for that text. So I do that, well, obviously up here in the link tab. I'm linking to an external website in my case. So I'll just paste the URL right here. Okay, so my link is set. I've got my title, my description, and my link text. Let's just look at it to see what it does. Now you can't see anything here because we have to preview the work to watch it in action. So I'm going to click F5. And as you can see, when I hover over the image, there's the text. This is the rollover text. Here's my title, here's my text, and this is the link. And as you can see, if I hover over the link, it would take me to that website that I linked it to. But as you can see, this text is a little bit big for this picture. It almost covers up the four guys. So let's see if we can make that look better. If I double click, I can decide the behavior of the text down here. Instead of having it pop up on the bottom, I can have it come in to the top. Let's see what happens. I'm clicking F5 to preview my work. Yeah, looks much better. We don't cover up the Beatles and we still get to read all the text works great for this particular image, you can adjust it to fit the image that you're working with. But there's a couple other changes I'd like to make. This link is a little bit hard to read, so let's mess around with that too. So under the style, I can change the color of the background. As you can see, it was black, and it was it had an opacity of 80. In other words, how, tr how transparent it's going to be. I've wanted it to be a little bit more transparent. I could lower this number, make it be less opaque. I can change the font and the color, the boldness, etc., even the size of the title right here. As you can see, I'm using Arial White Bold, size 10. And I'm doing the same thing with the description text, but it's all adjustable. I can change the text to a web friendly font, and I can change the color, etc. But what I want to change is that link. Now, links have a particular way of being displayed on a web page. And what 90 Second Website Builder lets you do is create what are called link styles. There's a video devoted just to creating link styles. I won't go into detail in this video, so watch the link style video to learn more. But I've actually created a style I called white links because I want this link to be white over black so it shows better. Now you can edit your styles by going here and just click add to create one. I'll show you what this particular style looks like just quickly. This is one I've created called white links. What I did was I created a link that shows white on black. And I did that for when it's visited, when it's active, or even when it's hovered. You can adjust all of these styles for your links and then name that style and use it throughout your 90 second website builder project Anytime there's a chance for you to style your link, you can just use one of your pre-made styles. Okay, again, watch the link style video to learn more about that. But I'm going to use a style that I created called white links. And I have assigned it right here. So now I'm ready to preview my work again. Let's see what happens. I click F5. I'm going to hover over the image. And there, now you can see I've got my hyperlink is a little more legible because I used white text over black. And you can see when I hover over it, it will take me to my external website. There's some other things you can do with this. For example, you can change the behavior of how the text comes in to the picture. 
As you can see right now, it sort of fades in there, but it doesn't have to. I'll show you what I mean. If we double click, we can change the animation. For example, we can have it slide up. Let's try that. F5 allows me to preview, and now when I hover, the text slides up. And then it slides down when I hover out. It's a nice little animation. So you get to decide what this text looks like, how it behaves, and what it says by simply changing these attributes. Play around with it and make your images look cool on your website with this great tool in 90 Second Website Builder.